Chapter 1. Introduction. The Iraq War was one of modern American history's most controversial and divisive events. It was sold to the American people as a necessary response to the threat of weapons of mass destruction, WMDs, and as a way to spread democracy and freedom in the Middle East. However, as the war dragged on and evidence emerged to contradict its official justifications, many Americans began to question its true motivations. My research and analysis have led me to a simple and controversial thesis. The Iraq War was about oil and peak oil. Firstly, to understand the it is important to review the brief history of the Iraq War. In spring of 2003, the United States and other NATO countries launched a full-scale invasion of Iraq. The stated goal was to disarm Iraq of its weapons of mass destruction and depose Saddam Hussein, the country's dictator. The war was launched despite significant opposition from the international community, including many of America's traditional allies. The evidence presented by the Bush administration to justify the war was later shown to be flawed and, in some cases, fabricated. No weapons of mass destruction were ever proven with empirical evidence in Iraq. The invasion of Iraq was a swift and relatively easy military victory for the United States. However, the aftermath of the war proved to be much more difficult. Insurgents and terrorist groups emerged to challenge the new Iraqi government, and sectarian violence tore the country apart. American soldiers and civilians were killed and wounded, and the economic costs of the war continued to mount. The legacy of the Iraq War is still being felt today, nearly two decades after it began. The country remains unstable and divided, with ongoing violence and political instability. The war severely damaged the United States' reputation in the world, and the country's military and economic resources were stretched thin. In the following chapters, I will present evidence to support my thesis that the Iraq War was about oil and peak oil. This evidence includes the Bush administration's ties to the oil industry, the role of Middle Eastern oil in the global economy, and the changes to Iraq's oil industry that followed the invasion. I will also examine the costs of the war, both economic and human, and its long-term implications for U.S. foreign policy and the global oil industry. Chapter 2. The Origins of the Iraq War The Bush administration's reasoning behind the Iraq War invasion was based primarily on two claims, that Saddam Hussein's regime possessed what referred to as weapons of mass destruction, WMDs, and that he posed a threat to the United States as well our allies. The administration argued that Iraq's WMD possession was a violation of United Nations resolutions and that Saddam Hussein had to be removed from power to protect the world from the threat of terrorism. However, this justification for war was widely criticized and later proven to be unfounded. The United Nations weapons inspectors who were sent to Iraq in the months leading up to the war found no evidence of WMDs. Moreover, intelligence reports provided to the Bush administration prior to the war were later shown to be based on faulty information or outright lies. Critics of the Bush administration argued that the WMD argument was merely a pretext for war and that the real motivations behind the invasion of Iraq were more complex. Some pointed to the administration's ties to the oil industry and argued that controlling Iraq's vast oil reserves was a primary goal of the war. Indeed, there is evidence that the Bush administration had been planning for the war long before the 9-11 attacks. In 1998, a group of prominent conservatives, including Donald Rumsfeld, Dick Cheney, and Paul Wolfowitz, formed what is known as the Project for the New American Century, PNAC. The group advocated for a more aggressive foreign policy, including the overthrow of Saddam Hussein's regime in Iraq. When George W. Bush became president in 2001, several PNAC members were appointed to key positions in his administration, including Dick Cheney as vice president and Donald Rumsfeld as secretary of defense. They continued to advocate for the overthrow of Saddam Hussein's regime and began planning for a possible invasion of Iraq. In the aftermath of the 9-11 attacks, the Bush administration saw an opportunity to justify the invasion of Iraq to the American people by linking Saddam Hussein to terrorism. They argued that he had ties to al-Qaeda and other terrorist groups, and that he posed an imminent threat to the United States. However, as subsequent investigations and reports have shown, there was no credible evidence to back these claims. 
The links between Saddam Hussein and al-Qaeda were tenuous at best, and there was no evidence that he had any involvement in the 9-11 attacks. Chapter 3. The Role of Oil in the Global Economy Oil has been crucial in the global economy since the early 20th century. It is a key input in many industrial processes and is used extensively in transportation. Countries that are rich in oil reserves have historically held a significant advantage in the global economy as they have been able to sell their oil for high prices to other countries. The Middle East is the world's largest producer and exporter of oil, with countries like Saudi Arabia, Iraq, and Kuwait possessing some of the world's largest oil reserves. The cheap oil supplies from the Middle East have been a crucial component of the global economy since the 1950s. Countries like the United States and Europe rely heavily on this oil to power their economies. However, the availability of cheap oil from the Middle East has been threatened in recent years by the concept of peak oil. Peak oil is the idea that global oil production will eventually reach a peak and then decline as oil reserves are depleted. Various experts, including geologists and economists, have supported this theory. The implications of peak oil are significant. As oil reserves become scarcer and more expensive to extract, the cost of oil is likely to rise. This will have a massive effect throughout the global economy, as the cost of transportation and many industrial processes will increase, leading to higher prices for consumers. Moreover, the Middle East's role as the primary supplier of cheap oil is likely to diminish as oil reserves in the region become depleted. This could lead to significant geopolitical shifts, as countries that are currently reliant on Middle Eastern oil will need to find new sources of oil or transition to alternative energy sources. In conclusion, oil has played a crucial role in the global economy for over a century, with the Middle East's cheap oil supplies being a crucial component of this system. However, the concept of peak oil suggests that this situation is unlikely to continue indefinitely, as oil reserves are depleted and become more expensive to extract. The implications of peak oil are significant and could lead to significant changes in the global economy. In Chapter 4. The Role of the Petrodollar System in the Iraq War Invasion The petrodollar system is a term used to describe the relationship between oil-producing countries, for example Saudi Arabia and the United States. Under this system, oil is traded globally in U.S. dollars, which has given the U.S. significant economic and political power. The petrodollar system has existed since the early 1970s, when U.S. President Richard Nixon negotiated an agreement with Saudi Arabia only to sell oil in dollars. Other oil-producing countries soon followed suit, as the U.S. provided military support and security guarantees in exchange for their participation in the system. The Iraq War invasion was closely tied to the petrodollar system. Before the war, Iraq had been selling its oil in euros rather than petrodollars, which threatened the dominance of the U.S. dollar in the global oil trade. Saddam Hussein also wanted to move away from the petrodollar system entirely, which would have weakened the U.S. economy and its global influence. The Bush administration, which had many connections to the oil industry, saw the invasion of Iraq as an opportunity to secure the country's oil reserves and ensure that Iraq continued to sell its oil in dollars. The WMD argument was used as a pretext for war, but many experts believe that the petrodollar system was the real driving force behind the invasion. After the invasion, the U.S. installed a new government in Iraq that was more favorable to the petrodollar system. The country's oil industry was also opened up to foreign investment, with many American oil companies securing contracts to explore and extract oil reserves in the country. The petrodollar system has been a significant source of economic and political power for the United States, but has also had negative consequences for other countries. The system has created a dependence on the U.S. dollar among oil-producing countries, which has given the U.S. significant influence over their economies and political systems. It has also contributed to the collapse of countries like Iraq, which have been targeted for regime change in order to secure their oil reserves. In conclusion, the petrodollar system significantly influenced the Iraq war invasion. The Bush administration saw the invasion as an opportunity to secure Iraq's oil reserves and ensure that the country continued to sell its oil in dollars. While the petrodollar system has been a significant power source for the U.S., it has also had negative consequences for other countries and contributed to global instability.
Chapter 5. The Future of Oil and Geopolitics The future of oil and geopolitics is closely tied to two concepts discussed in previous chapters, the petrodollar system and peak oil. As oil reserves become scarcer and more expensive to extract, the petrodollar system is likely to face increasing challenges, which could lead to significant changes in the global economic and political landscape. The petrodollar system has been a significant source of economic and political power for the United States, but it has also created a dependence on the U.S. dollar among oil-producing countries. As oil reserves become scarcer, countries that are currently reliant on Middle Eastern oil may need to find new sources of oil or transition to alternative energy sources. This could lead to a decline in the demand for U.S. dollars in the global oil trade, weakening the petrodollar system and reducing the U.S.'s economic and political power. Moreover, the concept of peak oil suggests that global oil production will eventually peak and decline as oil reserves are depleted. This could have significant implications for global geopolitics, as countries that are currently reliant on Middle Eastern oil may need to find new sources of oil or transition to alternative energy sources. This could shift global economic and political power, as countries with large reserves of alternative energy sources, such as China and Russia, become more influential. The decline of the petrodollar system and the rise of alternative energy sources will likely lead to significant changes in global geopolitics. The United States may need to adjust its foreign policy in order to maintain its economic and political influence, while countries like China and Russia may become more influential in the global economic and political landscape. In conclusion, the future of oil and geopolitics is closely tied to the concepts of the petrodollar system and peak oil. As oil reserves become scarcer and more expensive to extract, the petrodollar system will likely face increasing challenges, which could lead to significant changes in the global economic and political landscape. The rise of alternative energy sources is also likely to have significant implications for global geopolitics as countries with large reserves of alternative energy sources become more influential.